hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper and today I'm going to show you what sold over the weekend I also I'm going to show you some viewer sales and one actually I think the biggest sale today is something I bought from a viewer so I'm going to talk to you about the benefits of being on YouTube I do get asked that a lot about what percent my sales are so I, I will I will talk a little bit about that as well so we had $1,500 going out on eBay one sale each on Posh Mercari and Etsy and I'm going to show you them all right now All right, so up first, I'm going to show you a sale that is actually from a viewer. This is a beautiful pulled feather vase. I got this from George the Antique Nomad. It is signed. This is a really cool one from an Australian artist. His name is Sean O'Donohue. So I showed this in my Renninger's haul video, and Miss Lisa is going to buy it from me for $20. $50. I paid George $25. There won't be any fees except for PayPal fees because Miss Lisa is buying it direct. So that is one of the benefits of being on YouTube is getting direct sales like this. And if you're wondering percent, it's actually under 5% for me. I know some YouTubers get a ton more sales, but I don't get a ton of viewer sales and that's okay. I am just here mainly to help you learn what to pick up and different things you can do to improve your sales. So Miss Lisa, thank you so much for the purchase. I greatly appreciate it. All right, now we're gonna move on to eBay and I'm gonna talk some more about a YouTube benefit because one of these items I bought from someone that watches me here on YouTube. All right, up first is this amazing vase. It is so pretty and I accepted less than I wanted. So here's the bottom. This is a beautiful, beautiful Mistov vase. So I had this listed at 162. I ended up taking an offer for $100. So $60 off, about 40%. I paid about 20, so I'm still getting about a $50 profit. And the reason that I accepted that offer is that it has been listed for about a year and a half. So I was really debating, the buyer had two offers left. I wanna say they started at either 60 or 80 and we worked our way up to 100 so it's still a good profit i've had it a long time sometimes you just gotta swallow your pride accept the offer and move on up next is a scarf i picked this scarf up at a thrift store for three dollars it is a julia biondi and you can see it does say made in Italy. Paid $3 for this. It's just a black with some little fringes. This one sold for $22.16 plus the buyer paid shipping. So this one is about a $14 profit. All right, well, it came up fast, so we're gonna address this fast. So this next item I actually bought off of somebody who watches me on YouTube. I get emails pretty regular of people wanting me to buy things from them. And I'll be honest with you, in most cases I decline because I buy so cheap. I, I, am, I am very, very conservative when it comes to buying because you never know what you're gonna get so this next one I actually sold for $200 I'm gonna show it to you and then I'll tell you what I paid her so this is a beautiful Elizabeth Taylor fish brooch if you do not know Elizabeth Taylor for Avon and there is the marking there it does say elizabeth taylor for avon if you do not know these are big money so this one here sold for two hundred dollars in two days guys two days it was listed and that was a really really fast sale so i got that from miss lisa i got that in an originals by robert so i paid her a hundred dollars for that so i paid I will pay up for stuff that is really popular and will sell fast. So I paid her 100. The fees on that $200 sale are probably close to $40, which leaves me with about a $60 profit. And but I made 60 bucks in two days. I did pay her 100 
because I didn't want to lowball on a higher valued item. So when it comes to like bulk lots of jewelry, I typically only pay about a dollar or two a piece. And when people write me, I feel like they might get offended. So most times I do decline, but sometimes like in this case, she she had other jewelry. I did decline on that for now because I don't want to lowball people. I don't want them to feel bad. And that's why I mainly buy from auctions, not directly from people because it can be really hard when you don't want to spend a lot of money. So that one sold really fast. I still have the originals by Robert. So Lisa, thank you for letting me buy that from you. Quick $60 profit. Watch out for Elizabeth Taylor by Avon. Up and next is another fast sale. This is a Virginia Slims pretty cool wall clock it's actually still in its original box and this Virginia Slims clock I picked up a week and a half ago on an auction for $11 sold for $95 this one is going to be about a $70 profit and it sold in under a week up next is a pair of Fila leggings and I pick these up all the time, like Fila, Nike, Reebok. You can normally get them for a dollar or two, especially at yard sale. This pair took about eight months to sell, but they sold for $16.23. They are just plain black Fila leggings, and they're going to be about a $12 profit. Up next is a hat. I love buying hats. Again, something else I can find for a dollar a lot. This is a St. Kitts West Indies. This one sold for $9.09. I paid a dollar. This one is going to be about a $6 profit and it sold in a few months. Up next are some vents. So they are just like ceiling, floor vents, whatever you want. These two vents sold for $9.52 plus the buyer paid shipping. So I originally got over 500 of these for $5. That is a tenth of a penny if I'm doing my math correct. So this is probably about an $8 profit times that times 500 well 250 250 250 that is close to a four thousand dollar profit on a five dollar buy so we actually this weekend we had our live members sourcing if you don't know i have channel membership it is a paid option it starts at a dollar 99 and for that we do listing reviews to try and help improve your listings so and that dollar 99 i help you improve your sales look check your titles check your pictures check your shipping stuff like that for 9.99 though we do live sourcing so i go on high bid which is exactly where i found these events and we found a pallet of phones actually four pallets of phones that were five dollars starting bid exactly like i got these vents for tiffany and i think she got two of them but we found those and one phone sells for 48 dollars, and she has a pallet full of them so she's probably gonna make a good four to five thousand on each pallet on a five dollar buy so that level of membership's 9.99 and you also get the store reviews and then for 19.99 you get to watch us ship live every other monday when we have a ton of stuff it's actually a little chaotic but check out those you can hit the join button below any video sometimes it doesn't show up on the phone you might have to check on your computer but we have fun we have fun in the members only live so check it out i would love to see you there up next is a really cool print so this one is spring offering by clifford bricea this one sold for 11.69 i actually only paid a couple of dollars this one is going to be about an eight dollar profit and it sold in about four months and it whoa it does have on the back here all of the artist information um, it is just a little card with with a poem on the side there. Up next is another item from one of my cat's treasure hunting videos. Check out that channel if you haven't. It is a thrifting channel I do. This one is a local knowledge hat. I picked this up in Big Pine Key at Salvation Army for $3. It sold in under a week for $11. So it's going to be about a $7 profit, but it sold really fast. And it is a mesh snapback and it does look like it is brand new. Up next is a pair of peach sherbet dishes. These two sold for $14.33. I only paid a dollar. They're about a $10 profit and they took about six to seven months to sell. 
up next is some coasters coasters are another great bread and butter item these are by port marion it is a set of four they are floral kind of botanical these actually it's a set of six set of six these sold for $15.58 I only paid a dollar so they're about a $12 profit and they sold in about five months up next is another big sale if you've been watching me a long time you've seen this because we have sold a lot of these we are down to only one left after this one so this is from the king dynasty these are kingfisher feathers and this is a little coral bead there this one doesn't even have the pen this one sold for a hundred and sixty one dollars and eighty five cents i paid less than five in an online cart lot so this one is over a hundred and twenty dollar profit and it is teeny tiny up next is a apron i haven't sold a ton of aprons but i bought a lot of them and now i look at them another they're bread and butter they're not big money but they're cute and they're fun so this is a little half apron it does have a little pocket there it does tie a little blue gingham this one sold for 12 i paid a dollar so it's about an eight dollar profit and it sold in about five months up next is going out to a viewer so today we have like five viewer sales normally on Mondays we'll have like one or two so Miss Valerie thank you so much for your purchases she got I think she got four things but I haven't figured out the fourth yet I haven't combined them yet so she got this really cute little sterling silver bracelet she also got this anchor hawking little wheat bowl which is really really cute and it is marked a set of these would go good so these two items she paid $18.50 for and then she also got this really cute anarcho little girl planner this is super super cute this one she picked up for 20 so there is the back of that this one's in excellent condition you can see it still has its original sticker and it says anarcho 19 1962 anarcho 1962 so she got this one for 20 i paid three so between the three of those we've got about a 25 dollars profit so again miss valerie thank you so much and if you guys buy stuff for me we do combine it and i do refund you on the excess of shipping after we ship it and know the exact amount all right if you have not watched my doll furniture research video check it out this one's a little bread and butter little dollhouse washboard it sold for $12.98 I paid pennies for this so it's about a $10 profit sold in about eight months but some dollhouse furniture sells for thousands of dollars so check that video out if you want to learn more about dollhouse furniture up next is a longa burger basket liner this is a pretty little blue and white floral this is a kitty purse liner i paid a dollar this one sold for 9.50 so it's about a six dollar and fifty cent profit and this one sold in about two months up next i you i use these myself these are some red and blue and bamboo rolled placemats as well as a table liner they they're gator colors i'm a gator fan but i wasn't using them anymore so i listed them they sold for 25.99 i think i picked them up for a couple bucks at a yard sale again i picked them up for myself but these are going to be about a 20 dollar profit and they did take about eight or nine months to sell up next is a kuba vera this is an extra large men's hawaiian shirt this really really cool shirt sold for 15 it it took two years it took two years some some of these hawaiian shirts sell fast some take forever this one took two years sold for 15 i paid four so it's about an eight dollar profit up next a teeny tiny little bell that was weird with my face coming in focus this tiny little bell sold for 15 dollars $15 for this little brass bell I paid less than a dollar this one's going to be about a $11 profit and it sold in about eight months next is a little longer burger basket this one is named let it snow and it is in its original box does have the liner and accessories this one sold for 20 I paid about eight so it's about a seven to eight dollar profit sold in about five months up and next is a set of four false graph plates 
So these plates I've had for over a year, but actually maybe over two years. They've been, they've been here a long time. These plates sold for $40. It's a set of four. I'm just showing you one. It is a false graph and it says the name of the pattern there as well, which is Garden Blooms. I pick these up in a lot. I'm actually pennies in. So they're about a $32 profit after fees, but they took, they took a long, long time to sell. Up next are some ornaments. So the first is this little set of two little fishies two little glass fishies the two of them i am less than a dollar in. they sold for 16.57 so they're going to be about a 12 dollar profit and they sold in about nine months i will pick up unbranded if i can keyword it and you can keyword a fish tropical nautical ocean and it's got glitter if, if you can keyword it right it will sell up next is another set and these actually went to the same buyer so these are two little seahorses super super cute not branded these are not branded and these two seahorses sold for 22 dollars and the buyer did pay shipping so these are going to be about a 16 dollars profit and they are going with the fish up next is a shirt that should have been in my catch treasure hunting haul from my first salvation army video or the second the second i put it in the first because i thought it came from the first it came from the second so this is a navy this is a training shirt by new balance for the navy picked it up in the keys for three dollars it's sold for 12.99 and under a week so it's going to be about an eight dollar profit up next is a scrub top there's a ton of bread and butter items today but they add up we have 1500 bucks almost going out today so this is a scrub star little panda bear again if i think i can keyword it and they're bright and still in good condition i will pick up scrubs regardless of the brand so like this had panda bears this one's over 12.99 i got it for a dollar at a yard sale and it's going to be about a nine dollar profit sold in about three months this next one is really really cool didn't sell for a ton and it took a long time but check out this photograph of a horned owl this one i paid about five it sold for 15.90 so it's only about a seven dollar profit the photographer did sign it this one's super super cool i love stuff like this so i'm okay with lower dollar profits on it and it did take about a year to sell up next is some yarn if you do not know some yarn can sell very well not all yarn i also want to say some and we amy edge city traders was talking about this on my death pile destruction facebook group some people can sell some things that other people can't for whatever reason so like i think she was talking about like handkerchiefs i can sell handkerchiefs very well individually not everyone can i tried selling neckties after watching some youtube videos it didn't work very well so some people can sell yarn some can't this one is one skein of lion brand really really pretty there so this single skein i paid a dollar it sold for 12.99 so it's actually about a ten dollar profit on one skein of yarn so check yarn check the colors not just the brand but the type this one is homespun that is something you want to look at and yarn can be big money up next you just saw this in my haul video recently this is a harry potter hogwarts express fleece throw this one is going out to a viewer. It is going out. It is going out to Miss Pauline. So Miss Pauline, thank you so much for your purchase. I paid five for this. Miss Pauline picked it up for $17. So it's going to be about a $10 profit and it sold in just one day. Up next is a liner for a cabana basket. This is really, really pretty with the pinks and greens. This liner, I paid a dollar. It sold for $12 plus the buyer paid shipping. So it's about a $9 profit and it sold in about three months. Up next is some snuff papers. These were in a buyout I did. I just listed them as a lot of 12 for $10. I'm pennies in, so they're about a $7 profit. They did take close to a year to sell. 
Up next is a license plate. This is a really cool Australian license plate. This one I paid a dollar. It sold for $19.48. So it's about a $14 profit. It is going international. It might, it might be going back to Australia. So this one was a great sale. Took about six months. All right, last on eBay is this cool paint by numbers. So there is the print that it is really really pretty magnolia i only paid three it sold for 12. this one we shipped another one and we just put it in a poly bag because it's not there's nothing fragile so that doesn't make the shipping overly hard on me it's about a seven dollar profit and it sold in about five months all right that was everything for ebay we do have one sale each going out on Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, which is slow. And it might be a little slower because my mom is not here this week to cross post. She teaches quilting, so she's doing a day camp this week and won't be here working. So up on Etsy, we sold this Black & Decker. It's a vintage car scrubber. This one sold for $33. I got this in a buyout, so I'm about five in. So this one's going to be about a $20 profit, and it took about four or five months to sell. Up next is a Daniel Boone. This is your Mercari sale. This little jug, my friend picked it up for me, actually for only a dollar. There's the bottom. This one sold for 15, so it's about a $10 profit, and it did take about seven or eight months to sell. All right, last up on Poshmark, and then I think I think we're gonna give away a month of Bliss Perfectly. Let me show you these jeans. These are Carhartt jeans. They actually are pretty beat up. So I listed them as work jeans. They still, you can see like some scuffs on them. They still sold for 13 on Poshmark plus shipping. So these are gonna be about a $9 profit. I picked them up for less than a dollar. All right, so if you don't know, I do use List Perfectly to crossbows more more correct I, my mom uses list perfectly to cross post and i give away a free month of list perfectly every month and that can be up to 69.99 membership so you're eligible whether you use list perfectly or not if you want to try it or if you already use it they will give you a refund which is absolutely amazing so put list perfectly down in the comments and you will be entered to win a free month of list perfectly special thanks to clara and amanda and the whole team over at list perfectly they are absolutely wonderful they are very supportive of the reseller community i hopefully will be a, attending their event in phoenix in june so if you're on the west coast that's probably the closest i'm going to get to the west coast so check out the list perfectly event as well so that that wraps it up i hope you have enjoyed don't forget to join us on tuesday for our live show we will be joined by scott Chiching king as well as leroy blood sweat and sell and mikey bags of money will be my co-host because rod is running off to get married so rod will be absent for a week or two but he will be back so i look forward to seeing you on tuesday thank you so much for watching i will see you on the next one